And hello from one of the great venues in world football, the San Siro in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It's Inter taking on Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a tight group, so it's vital these teams get off to a good start here. This should be a very competitive game tonight. Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Hakan Chalhanolu starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Romelu Lukaku. The lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. Jadon Sancho plays with Anthony out wide and the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo it's the opening match day Champions League group stage match day one underway Lukaku and throwing himself up the ball Keen to take it short here. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Jaden Sancho. Well, not hard to read that pass. Martinez. Well, it's always worthwhile tracking the progress of Lautaro Martinez. He can be highly influential. Stuart, what might we see from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball. He can get himself out of tight situations. He can see a pass. He's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. And steered back under a bit of pressure. Lisandro Martinez. Went in strongly to win the ball. Dumfries. Not showing good defensive judgment. See some progress with the ball at his feet and reading it absolutely superbly. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, left his man behind here. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Lukaku. Barella has it. Martinez. Not a good pass. 
Casemiro. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes has it. Malassia. Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Can they nudge in front? Well, it certainly was a bold attempt. Good to see him try his luck with the chip. Well, it's a great attempt. Opts to lift it over the keeper. Just gets a little bit too much on it. Dumfries Romelu Lukaku now good movement Chalanoru Lukaku can they keep it out well they can keep possession now Diogo Dallo Anthony just not looking confident in possession Well, great read there to intercept. Barella. Good pressure to win the ball back. They've got it now, what can they do? Still passing it around with authority. Barella. Now, who can he play it to? Bruno Fernandes. Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Ericsson. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Chalanoru back with Lukaku and it's with Dumfries Lukaku no possibilities inside the box and still looking for space speculative ball fired to the near first well that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro Well, he was one of their better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Fernandes here's Eriksen Inter did well to regain control of the ball and really pressing their opponents can he convert oh and a goal from Cristiano Ronaldo cometh the hour cometh Ronaldo well here's the replay and just look at that power that's almost unstoppable that's a great strike Don't. 
Well, Inter get the ball rolling again. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goal stings them into action. Martinez. Romelu Lukaku now. Chalanolu. On the ball, Bastoni. Barella. Return to Lukaku. Anthony. An important interception. Fernandes. Great pressure to win the ball back. Casimiro. Back to Ericsson. It's with Milan Skriniar. Well, Inter have certainly controlled the flow of the game, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Well, first things first, they need the ball again. Can he finish? In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Underway with the lead standing at 2 0. And running it back. Martinez could pull one back here. And he does. He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, just watch this again. Lukaku's pass is inch perfect, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Well, away they go once more. The push is on from Inter. Can they find an equaliser? 20 minutes remaining. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Chalanolu. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Just couldn't capitalise there. Casemiro under the cosh. Difficult to stop him. Lukaku. Now with Martinez. An alert piece of defending. Lukaku. And Rashford. Good work to win the ball back by United. Well, what an atmosphere inside the San Siro. But can Inter find a moment of inspiration to get themselves back into this game? Time's not on their side. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. An unforced error, you've got to say. Diogo Dallo. Anthony. Good tackle, take it away. Martinez. Lukaku. Very quick thinking there. 
Breaking at pace. An attack full of promise. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Still possibilities. Well, threat about it. Perfect tackle. Bruno Fernandes. This could be it. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Casemiro. So, full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position. Well, no getting away from it. The real catalyst for his side tonight, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.